that we did business in the past is just doesn't compare to the way we do business today. You know, we have to really consider consumer buying behaviour, the, the changing um, customer demographic that we have that wants to work with us and engage with us in a different way. And it isn't actually just about customers, it's also about the associates that work with us and attracting them. So technology isn't just for us in, in our customer interaction, it's in every aspect of the way we do business, whether it's with the people that work for us, it's with the owners that we have, our, our franchise partners, asset managers, uh, you know, technology is evolving and there's so much opportunity out there to delve into your business. Um, you know, the opportunities are endless and, it, and I think it's a skill in being able to just select the right pieces of technology to work with that you can really expand and develop. Um, I think it will help us understand the market better. Um, most of our difficulties come in our data. Um, from our perspective, it's about consolidating that data and understanding what are the trends, so therefore how can we help the hotels to help our customers um, and how we review that and until the likes of Ideas G3 and Smart Space, it's been a very difficult market to be able to get trend, whereas we're now slowly, I think, moving in that direction. I think it depends what it is. So of course, technology helps us saving time as well. So to, um, to sometimes to an extent to really like um, be visible, but yet using our technology so that when the delegate comes in, he has straight uh, access to an information with the technology. So it's really like to make the system and the booking process faster. So that's one of the, uh, the positive of technology. Um, huge impact to be quite honest. I think it could save us time, money, um, in terms of uh, bringing reporting and forecasting, I think it's very crucial to invest in technology nowadays.